Mazzarini Air Car, continually expanding his collection of innovative water, land, and sky vehicle concepts, Italian designer Pierpaolo Lazzarini returns with Aircar to reimagine the future of flying vehicles. Allowing travelers to avoid road traffic by simply jetting off above ground, the 4x4 jet flying aircraft is envisioned as a small, futuristic module measuring 6 meters in length and designed to accommodate up to one pilot and three passengers. Its carbon fiber monocoque bodywork lends it an ultra-lightweight form, which is integrated with four rotatable Rolls-Royce jet engines that enable it to soar the skies. Efficient in both size and speed, the air car can cruise at an estimated top speed of 750 km per hour for an estimated autonomy of 1,200 km on jet fuel. Proposed by Rome-based Lazzarini Design Studio, the air car is set to be powered by aero engines created by Rolls-Royce. Each of the four jet engines can independently adjust its own inclination and rotation, guaranteeing stability and a high maneuverability in turning. Further, due to 4x4 systems engine's inclination and rotation, the flying vehicle can navigate on variable heights and inclines, or fly in straight trim, depending on the cruising speed needs. At the moment, the air car remains a concept flying vehicle, though lead designer and founder of the studio Pierpaolo Lazzarini seeks to realize it by 2024 with a first real-scale prototype before it is ready to hit the market. Opener Blackfly The pivotal Blackfly is an American electric-powered VTOL personal air vehicle designed by Canadian engineer Marcus Lung. It was publicly revealed in 2018. After nine years of development, the aircraft is intended to be supplied complete and ready to fly. One, two, an opener are in the process of starting production at their Palo Alto, California site. The manufacturer claims that the design is the world's first ultralight fixed wing, all electric, vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. The first proof of concept version was flown on October 5th, 2011 in Warkwith, Ontario, Canada by Long. He flew the next model, named the Blackfly, in August 2014 and then relocated the company to Palo Alto, California in September 2014. In February 2016, the second Blackfly prototype was first flown. By September 2017, the prototype had flown 10,000 miles, 16,093 kilometers, in a series of flights of at least 30 miles, 48 kilometers, each. The first pre-production aircraft was flown in October 2017. 1-5 Nano Trike Flying Par Motor Trike Flying Machine Kindly ask real photos of every manufacturer. Local harness, scooty tires, no powder coating, and without any fitment of engine parts. Parts tie up loose, even they install white bird net, not imported netting orange fly products. Kindly check previous work record of manufacturer then order anything. At first glance, this may seem like an extreme sport, but the more you learn about this amazing way to fly, the more you will realize it is about peacefully soaring like a bird. A trike is motorcycle-like in the way it carves through the turns while experiencing something with amazing open-air visibility. So who flies trikes? To name a few, we have doctors, lawyers, engineers, police officers, school teachers, and retirees flying these. But we also have great-grandmothers, ministers, little people, paraplegics and teenagers enjoying our wonderful sport, and just about everyone in between. If your friends or family think you are crazy for wanting to fly like a bird, rest assured, you are of sound mind with a natural human desire to experience flight in what we feel is the best toy on earth. Joby's Electric Air Taxi Joby Aviation, a company developing electric vertical takeoff and landing EVT well, aircraft for commercial passenger service has signed a definitive agreement with Hello Holdings to install the first air taxi charger in the greater New York City region at the company's heliport in Kearney, New Jersey, located just a two-minute flight from Manhattan. The agreement, which provides Joby with an operational base for its electric air taxi in the NYC region, builds on the partnership already established between Joby and HHI in November 2023, when Kearney served as a temporary home base for Joby's aircraft. Joby completed several flights at Kearney in preparation for the company's exhibition flight in New York City at an event hosted by the New York City Economic Development Corporation and Mayor Eric Adams. 
The city has committed to electrify the downtown Manhattan heliport to enable electric air taxi operations. First opened in 2011, the Kearney heliport is the largest vertical lift facility on the East Coast with 27 parking spots for helicopters and plans to expand to 32. Kitty Hawk's Flyer EVT Well On June 3rd, EVT Well Specialist Kitty Hawk's Palo Alto, California, U.S. online blog post announced that the company is winding down the flyer, its first all-electric takeoff and landing EVT Well vehicle flown by non-pilots. The single-seater vehicle, designed for use over water, was another milestone for Kitty Hawk and its later EVT Well aircraft developments. The blog post reports that five years ago, at the start of the project, Kitty Hawk CEO, Sebastian Thrun, and President of Flyer, Alex Roeder, had two goals when developing the craft. Free the world from traffic and design an ultralight aircraft that could be flown by anyone, even if the pilot didn't hold a pilot's license. Made of composite materials, the resulting design left the flyer sitting at 250 pounds empty weight, making it permittable for recreational use under the FAA Part 103 regulation. Powered by 10 independent lift fans, the flyer operates 3 to 10 feet off the water. Martin Jetpack The Martin Jetpack was a single-person aircraft under development. Despite its name, it did not use a jetpack as such, but ducked fans for lift. Martin Aircraft Company of New Zealand, not related to Glen L. Martin Company, the U.S. company also known as Martin Aircraft, developed it and unveiled it at the Experimental Aircraft Association's 2008 Air Venture in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, U.S. The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration classified it as an experimental ultralight airplane. They used a petrol engine with two dust fans to pull out lift. It was specified to have a maximum speed of 40 kilometers per hour, 25 miles per hour, a flight ceiling of 2,500 feet, 760 meters, a range of 15 to 20 kilometers, 9.5 to 12.5 miles, and endurance of about 28 minutes of flight. Empty weight was 200 kilograms, 440 pounds. Martin Aircraft initially planned to target first responders as customers. Klein Vision's Flying Air Car The Klein Vision Air Car is a two-seat flying car designed by Stefan Klein and made in Slovakia. It was type certified as an aircraft in January 2022. Slovak designer Professor Stefan Klein began working on flying cars in the late 1980s. Having developed the Aeromobile, he left the company to develop a new idea as the air car and set up Klein Vision with colleague Anton Zajac. The prototype takes off at around 120 km per hour, 75 miles per hour. After a run of 300 meters, 980 feet, dot four, cruising speed in the air is said to be 170 km per hour, 92 knots, range is estimated as 1,000 km, 620 miles at a height of 2,500 meters, 8,200 feet. The current version of the car can reach heights of 4,572 meters, 15,000 feet. It is said to take 2 minutes and 15 seconds to transform from car into aircraft. 8. The prototype air car is of comparable length to a Mercedes S-Class saloon, at 5.2 meters, 17 feet 1 inch, and around 2 centimeters. Zapata Flyboard Air The Zapata Flyboard Air, the jet-powered personal aerial vehicle, capable of VTOL and unprecedented individual mobility. The Zapata copyright technology platform is the safest, easiest, lightest, most maneuverable personal aviation system ever created. Inventors have been chasing the dream of personal flight for decades but no one else has achieved it in the way that Zapata has. Zapata's unique and innovative approach comes from its experience in hydroflight, its use of turbine engines over conventional electric propellers, and the use of intuitive flight controls designed around the human body. Frankie Zapata has done it. He has created a real hoverboard, the first working one ever made. The new equipment uses a jet turbine engine to fly around. Zapata released the first video of his latest invention, the Flyboard Air. Gone is the jet ski, gone is the hose, and gone is the tether. This thing appears to take the handling and control system of the Flyboard, but replace the water jets with at least one jet turbine engine and a backpack fuel tank. 
It doesn't need to be attached to anything else. Copter Pack From flying cars to EVT well, the future of mobility seems to hover in the air. Another member in the repertoire appears through the conceptual Copter Pack, an electric backpack helicopter with a self-leveling autopilot. The word conceptual can be used to describe the backpack helicopter as the team behind the product is currently in the development stage of the vehicle. As far as the company has revealed about Copter Pack, it bears a lightweight airframe constructed from carbon fiber honeycomb and has LED lights that blast bright white rays. The Australia-based company thinks a unique feature of the electric backpack helicopter is that once the pilot wears it, they will feel as if their body becomes part of the aircraft, functioning as one. The electric backpack helicopter might also be powered by lithium-ion batteries, and its self-leveling autopilot sounds like a dream come true for those who have wanted to fly without needing to control anything. As viewers can see in the video, the pilot Jetson 1 Jetson was founded by Peter Turnstrom and Tomasz Patton in October 2017, originally as Jetson Aero with its headquarters Poland, the moving to Sweden. The company name was also shortened from Jetson Aero to Jetson. The company's goal is to make safe personal electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft available to everyone. The Jetson Aero Speeder prototype, their proof of concept, was developed during the autumn of 2017 and was finished in the spring of 2018. The first successful flight of the prototype was in January 2018. The first crewed flight was on the 28th of February, 2018 in Tuscany, Italy, and with further crewed flights in Poznan, Poland. Now that the prototype has been made and test flown, the company is moving forward to create a consumer-friendly EVT well model. The fuselage is an H configuration with the propellers and electric motors on each corner of the aircraft. One electric motor failing would not end in a catastrophic event. After the successful completion of the working prototype and many test flights, 